Hey gang, uh, today, well, I had a different video plan, but I'm kind of bummed that Tom Petty died. Um, one of my faves. Um, very original. Uh, geez, I don't know what to say about him, really. I mean, he, he did so much that was just so rock and roll. He just felt really right with rock. Real simple songs, and yet somehow found a way to put his own stamp on it and a way to make it unique. Maybe it was an extra half measure there, or maybe it was just the guitar sound that he had, or maybe it's an open string and a riff that he did. I don't know, but he always find, found a way to make it pretty uh, original, and you can always tell it's him. I mean, even before the singing starts, where he's got that unique voice, or he had that unique voice. Man, um, an incredible body of work. You know, American Girl and uh, Refugee and uh, Don't Do Me Like That and uh, Mary Jane's Last Dance, uh, Good Be King. Uh, lasted the whole time. He always stayed original, true to himself. Took on the record companies to do it. Oh, man. He was just really embodied rock and roll, I think, you know. Um, and uh, produced a lot of great music. Well, we're going to do Breakdown today. And uh, in his honor, uh, maybe you can watch this instead of Miley Cyrus tribute. Oh, God. All right. Um, anyway, don't want to get too off tangent on that one. Uh, uh, anyway, we're going to do breakdowns. It's really simple, but it's another one of those. It's really simple and incredibly effective, right? And uh, that's what it was. That's what Mike Campbell's playing is all about, and that's what I think Tom Petty's songs were all about. All right, we'll do it up close in just a second. All right, gang, let's do this uh, more or less note for note. I've got the tab written in the description. It's going to make your life, uh, or in the link in the description of the video, it's going to make your life a lot easier, so you might want to download that. Um, for the sound, I'm using a fairly, just a little bit dirty guitar, and I'm playing with my volume knob, so on times when I'm not playing the main riff for the solo, I go down to about five, so it's pretty clean. All right, and during the, the rest of it, I, I turn up my volume knob so I get a little more sustain and a little more dirt. Just a little bit, though. Not too much. You don't want too much. No distortion pedals or anything like that. You want it to be fairly clean. All right, uh, let's go over the song then. Um, uh, let's just do the in order. So it starts out, the, uh, the drums are going, the keyboard starts to go, and there's this little lick. I don't know if Mike Campbell plays it or Tom Petty plays it, but here it is right here. All right, I uh, should say that the chords are basically A minor to G. Uh, in the chorus, there's an F as well, so it's like this. And in the chorus is, you know, this. Uh... So all pretty simple. It's all diatonic to uh, A minor. So we're going to be playing and thinking A minor pentatonic in this one. Okay? So this is a A minor pentatonic. That's a lick that's pulled right out of the A minor pentatonic. Um, I'll play it nice and slow so you can see it. The only thing that's kind of interesting is that little tiny trail off. I don't know if it's Mike Campbell or Tom Petty himself, but either one, uh, I think it's Mike Campbell, has a really nice touch and pulls off at the very end when the volume's almost done. Listen to that record to see how he does it. Very good touch on that. Okay, that's the first line. Here's the main riff, the first line of the main riff. Now we're going to replay the main riff because there's some fills, and this time I've written out the fills for you um, just because I felt like it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the main riff. All right, so that's the first time through, but the main riff stays the same. It doesn't alter that. So let's kind of talk about that one. So we're going to start out here by sliding up <coughs> on the second string to the tenth, which happens to be an A, and the pattern is basically slot. It's very, very slippery and kind of like a slippery ladder. You know, you're coming down and you're using the note that you land on as the starting note of the next phrase. So it kind of goes like this. And then we'll use the, that as the starting note of our next phrase. And now we'll use this as the starting note of our next phrase. 
Okay, so let's go over it slowly. So we're going to slide up to the 10th on the second string. And then we're going to do the slide back down two frets and back up. Like so. Okay? We're going to land on the third string ninth fret. Then we're going to use that one as our starting point. Again, same sort of thing. Slide down, back up. Land on the seventh fret on the fourth string. And now we're going to use that as our starting point. Same pattern, slide down two, up to our original. And we're going to land on the fifth string, fourth, uh, seventh fret. You can give it just a little bit of vibrato, not too much. You want it to be kind of slow vibrato if you can. All right, so that's it. Let's play the whole thing slowly. Okay, so uh, the only thing I do on this is I try to not play this with my first finger, even though I can, because I know I'm going to have to do the next lick, <laughs> okay? And this lick next, so I try and do it with my third or my second or whatever, just so that when I go like this, I can let it sit for a while and still get in my next lick, which is this. Okay, so that's just a simple double stop, fifth fret, this is an A minor double stop, fifth fret on the first two strings, play that, don't play the other strings, okay, and then play the second string eighth fret, trail off to the fifth on the second string, and now we're simply going to play the same double stop and then the third string seventh fret. Okay? All right, here is the second line, very similar to the first. Okay, so this second line is basically, it's the same ladder lick, so I'm not gonna go over that again. It's almost the same uh, double stop lick as well, but instead of coming down to the fifth on the second string, like so, he goes up to the fifth string, on, uh, up to the fifth fret on the first string. Okay, and then just puts in a little lick right here. No big deal. So it's very similar to the first. All right, let's go over the second time he does it around. Um, so let's play that one, okay? We'll play that one fairly slowly. All right, same lick in the beginning, that ladder lick is the same, and uh, now we've got this. standard blues lick but even there you know there's a tiny tiny stamp of uniqueness the most common thing would have been to go like this that probably would have been the most common but he comes back up on the third string first and goes directly skips a note all right okay here's the last part Obviously, we've got that same lick going in the beginning. That's no big deal. Um, here is the, the little solo line that's going on. We've got that double stop. We're going to start it on the third. It's the same format, and we're going to slide it up to the fifth. Okay, and then we're going to sort of alternate pick for about a whole measure. We'll alternate pick on the second and first string, uh, solely kind of building up to just playing that double stop. Again, let me play that slowly. Okay, and now here's the lick going up. This is at least what my ears hear. Okay, 
Okay, and what is that? Well, the first one is just hammering on. You've got this double stop again on the first two strings. You hammer on to the eighth and play the first. Okay, like so. Now you're going to slide up from this eighth. And now you slide up to the tenth on the second fret on the second string and then play the open E string like so. And now we're going to play from the tenth to the thirteenth, sliding up. Again playing that open E string. And now we're going to slide from this thirteenth all the way up to the seventeenth. And now we're going to also play the fifteenth on the first. and then give it another stroke and lots of vibrato. Here it is, the whole thing slowly, okay? And that's it. Well, there you go, gang. Uh, Tom Petty, Breakdown. Great song, um, great guitar riff, easy to play. What could be better? Tom, we're going to miss you. See you on down the road.